Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Taurus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of July 2021. Your first card here is the Ten of Cups, the Temperance card, the Page of Cups, the Eight of Swords, Six of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. All righty. All right. Libra. Sorry, Taurus. Don't know why I said Libra. I apologize. Don't come at me in the comments, you guys. <laughs> okay, maybe you, uh, some of you Tauruses are dealing with a Libra energy. Uh, just putting that out there. Okay. So there is a lot of healing that's happening right now, Taurus. I feel that for some of you guys, you've created this image in your mind of what do you want your life to become or what you want your life to be. It's like you're working towards aspirations, towards goals that you've been trying to achieve for quite some time. Uh, for some of you guys, it could have come at the cost of some type of ending, only because we do have the Ten of Cups here, and the Ten of Cups is um, an ending cycle. And it's an ending cycle towards some type of struggles. We have the Eight of Swords here and the Six of Swords. Uh, so there could have been a situation or in the past you could have felt stuck. You could have felt like you were unlucky in certain aspects, whether it was in career, finances, or love. However, with the Ten of Cups and the Temperance, there is wish fulfillment that is unfolding. There is happiness that's coming towards you. With the Temperance, as you can see here, there is a sun that is coming out right by the mountains. And what that is, uh, what they're saying is basically that finally you're being able to see the rewards, the blessings, the uh, things that are falling into place and, and really almost giving you momentum in regards to being able to count your blessings. There is some type of offering here that's coming through for some of you guys in the month of July. So I feel if you've been restricted or if you've been dealing with your partner and you feel like there's been a bit of stagnant energy, things haven't progressed the way you would want them, that's quickly going to be changing. I see that the month of July is going to bring you a lot of wish fulfillment, a lot of happiness. Um, what they are saying here with the Eight of Swords, though, is you need to understand that our happiness, our love, our what we consider joy comes from what are what we connect joy to be or happiness so ultimately is what they're saying here is for some of you guys stop seeking happiness stop seeking abundance stop seeking success outside of yourself expecting others as an example expecting a partner or to build some type of relationship because only then will I be happy. Or, you know, I have to get to this point in my career in order to feel fulfilled, in order to experience joy. What they're telling you is you need to work on finding that within yourself. Because if you feel like you can only find happiness through someone, then being in a relationship or putting yourself in a situation where you're in a relationship because you feel like your partner, like that's your partner's job to make you happy or to make you feel fulfilled is always going to leave you feeling empty, feeling like the cup is half full. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you is you need to learn to find that within yourself, that happiness, that success, that abundance. If you're trying to grow within your industry or within your company, do you feel worthy? Do you feel capable of achieving that higher position? Do you feel capable of making it happen? And if you do, then stop vibrating to the, to the energy of doubting yourself, to the energy of I have to keep proving myself. No, it's the moment you accept that, that it becomes a reality and therefore you will manifest that. With the, with the hard work and determ determination that you're putting into it. So what they're telling you is stop looking for happiness outside of yourself. You need to learn to find that within yourself in order to be able to move towards 
the happiness, the happy ever after, that successful job that is going to bring you a lot of stability, that emotional fulfillment, the feeling of completion, the feeling of happiness, of joy, of abundance, of success, of health. You need to stop searching for it outside of yourself. Find it within yourself and align yourself to that vibration in order to embrace that. I do see blessings coming your way, Taurus. Um, but what they're saying is you got to find that, that energy, that potential in yourself. You need to learn to see yourself that way in order for everything else to fall into place. All right, my lovelies? I hope that this gives you insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.